So you're thinking about moving to San Antonio, Texas, and you have questions about race and diversity. This is a hot topic across the country, and it's actually a point of discussion that I have with a lot of different people all the time. They want to know, are they going to feel comfortable living here with their families? Are their kids going to feel safe going to school? What is it going to be like for them and their families living here in Texas or the Alamo City specifically? In this video, I want to give you my opinion, my perspective on what it's like to live here as a person of color or as a minority. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey friends, my name is Jonathan Welch, and on this channel, I talk about everything that you want to know about living in San Antonio and the entire metro area. I'm also a licensed real estate agent here in San Antonio, which means not only do I enjoy making videos for you guys, I would love even more to help you and your family with all of your real estate purchase needs. So feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email, or my personal favorite, book a free Zoom consultation. I will leave all of that information down in the description below. We're going to get after it right now and we're going to talk about race and diversity here in San Antonio. Now, as a disclaimer, I want to say that this topic can trigger a lot of people, okay? Um, I am only going to give you my opinion, my perspective, my experience living here in San Antonio. And I want to tell you that I am in no way at all trying to diminish anyone else's experience here in San Antonio. I understand that everybody has, you know, they've got their own experiences. You know, they live their own lives. They live in different parts of the city, different parts of the area. And so um, we, we don't share the same experiences. We have different backgrounds. So I just want to put that out there. Um, I'm in no way, shape or form trying to upset anyone with giving you my, my opinion, okay? So um, just as a point of context, um, I have lived many different places in the country. I've grown up both here in Texas and I spent quite a bit of time in Alaska. So all the way down south here in Texas, all the way north to Alaska, and I've lived everywhere in between. I spent um, eight years in the Navy, spent some time in the Army Reserve. So I've got a lot of different experience talking with and in, in, in dealing with many different people. Um, I, I feel like I have a very good understanding of what racism feels like and sounds like when it comes out of people's mouths. I've experienced it, so I know firsthand what it's like. So I just wanted to put that out there so you under, kind of understand um, that, that I know what racism is. Now, for my wife and I, where we lived, where we were going to live with our family was a big deal. Like many of you who are thinking about moving to San Antonio, we were concerned. We were worried. You know, we, we've had, we heard different stories about what it was like to live in San Antonio, to live in the South, you know, in general. And so uh, when we decided to get married and start a family, uh, where we lived was, you know, was a, a concern for us. And so moving here to San Antonio, we, we kind of had those thoughts in mind. Now, I've been in San Antonio now for about 12 years, and I, I can tell you that this sounds weird, but bear with me. I, ha I live two different lives here in San Antonio. I have two different ex experiences here in San Antonio because I am a police officer here in the city. And so I have experience dealing with people in very uh, negative in, in dark moments of people's lives. Um, and then I live the civilian life with my family away from the city, um, you know, as a civilian, leaving my work life behind at work. And so those experiences are very distinct. Now, as a police officer, I unfortunately can tell you that I have experienced quite a bit of racism on the job. It's hard to say when a person is genuinely racist of me because of the color of my skin, um, because a lot of times they're just angry and they're looking for a way to get at, at you. Um, I've, I've seen that with other officers um, and then with myself. They, they're, people are looking for a way. Uh, they can't physically assault you sometimes, so they use words to try to get a elicit a response uh, from you or from me as a black 
police officer. And I've experienced that from people of many different ethnic backgrounds, including black people, believe it or not. Um, I've heard, I've had some very negative comments thrown at me from people of my own ethnic background. And so I do believe that what comes out of a person's mouth is what's in their heart. So, you know, in some way, shape or form, people uh, who say things as nasty and disgusting as I've heard, in some way they, they are racist. Now, that's my experience as a police officer. As a civilian over the last 12 years, I have not experienced racism here in San Antonio. I haven't experienced any type of bigotry. I haven't experienced any type of, um, you know, um, any anyone not allowing me to do anything because of the color of my skin. My wife, being of Portuguese descent, has not heard any type of negative comments towards her or my children when we're out and about in public. That's both here in San Antonio and the surrounding area. We have family all the way up near Austin, uh, north of Austin, and we spend a lot of time up there, a lot of time in New Braunfels and this whole area, and we just have not had any type of negative experiences um, on the civilian side. My children are biracial, I, we have four of them, and we've spent a little bit of time in Colorado um, in between living here in Texas. And now I didn't experience racism there really either, but you know, living there, we got a lot of, a lot of stares. You know, we were, there weren't very many blacks in the area that we lived in Colorado, very few uh, mixed uh, interracial families um, and mixed children. So we got a lot of stares. That was a little bit uncomfortable for, for us and for our kids, even though it wasn't necessarily a negative experience but it was uncomfortable. We knew that when we were when we were going to move back here to San Antonio, you know, San Antonio uh, is a diverse is is a diverse city, and so we were hoping when we moved back here that our kids would feel more comfortable, that we would feel more comfortable. And I have to tell you, by and large, that has been the case. I can't tell you how many. Um, interracial families we see here in San Antonio. And I speak of, of interracial families because I'm in one, my, my children are biracial. And I, and I think that this is gonna uh, you know, kind of go across the board with whether you know, you're in an interracial family or you know, you're just a, family, a minority family or minority individual, whatever the case may be. I think that you know, it's, it's the same. We just we haven't experienced any of that, and we have just seen so many different ethnic backgrounds here in San Antonio. I feel like it is a inter international city. I think the only other place that I've been to that is this diverse is when I lived in San Diego. Um, at the time, I was single, so you know my mind wasn't wasn't geared towards um, hey, is this a diverse city or not? You know, I was just doing my thing in the Navy, but. Now, since we've been married and stuff, and I look back, I'm like, yeah, San, San Diego was a pretty diverse city, and San Antonio is, is pretty much like that. Several of my clients who have uh, recently relocated here to San Antonio from different parts of the country, they've all said the same thing. They've all reflected the same sentiment, that San Antonio is a very friendly city. It has been friendly for them. Um, they have not experienced or seen any type of negativity or uh, discrimination, racism of any kind since they've been living here in San Antonio. Uh, they all come from different parts of the country and they all say that, man, this place is very friendly. People just say hi to you. And that has been my experience as well. Now, will I say that racism doesn't exist here in San Antonio? That would be foolish of me to say that. Hatred is a human condition and it's everywhere. It is, it permeates society and it doesn't really matter where you live, you're going to experience hatred in the form of racism, bigotry, or or many other forms of, of hatred. So it is definitely here. You're going to find that here. Um, but I think by and large, um, it is not the case that San Antonio would be considered a racist city. I don't think it can be categorized as that. I have met people who, not my clients, but you know, just in the course of of speaking to other people who have lived or moved here to San Antonio, you know, they have some different experiences. 
You know, it's funny because a lot of people think that this topic of race, this conversation is just had amongst people of color or uh, a specific minority group. But believe it or not, I actually get this 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 uh, this question quite a bit from white people as well who are moving here from different places, even uh, people who are moving here from other countries. Um, had a gentleman not long ago from Canada who who I was working with who was concerned about moving here to San, San Antonio. He, um, he knew that there was a large Hispanic population here. And for some reason, he felt like, you know, hey, is it going to be tough for me as a white guy from Canada uh, to live in San, San Antonio? You know, will I be able to get a job? Um, of course, the question of Spanish always comes up. Do I need to be able to speak Spanish to live there? And, um, and I've heard other, I've spoken to other, um, other white people as well who have that concern. They've heard that they're not going to be able to get a job because they don't speak Spanish. That's just, that's not the case. Um, now, Spanish is a benefit, but Spanish is, speaking Spanish is a benefit in everywhere in the country. It doesn't matter where you live. There, there's a large Spanish speaking population in America. America is the second largest Spanish speaking country in the world, believe it or not, behind Mexico. So, um, yes, it is, a, it is a benefit to be able to speak it here, but it is not necessary and being white or being uh, being black or any other ethnic background is not going to be a problem for you living here um, you know that that's just that's just what I believe now i I've spoken to many many people who have relocated here to San Antonio who um, Who's, who say the same things that I do, who have a lot of the same experiences that I do since they've lived here. It's been nothing but positive. Now, um, I know the comment section is going to blow up. I, I've, I've gotten comments from people already who, who say, San Antonio is a racist city. I can't get a job there, this, that, and the other. Um, but like I said, you know, that's, everyone has their own experiences and they've lived in different places. And, you know, uh, maybe that has been the case for them. But as for me, and, you know, I, I just have not really experienced that um, outside of law enforcement here in San Antonio. And your concern about um, being comfortable, um, racial diversity, and is this going to be a place that's going to be good for you to raise your children here? I would say yes, wholeheartedly yes. This is not like any place that I've ever lived um, when it comes to diversity, I think that it's a place that you're going to feel comfortable. I think it's a, a place, a good place for you to raise your family. And, uh, again, that's just my opinion. That's my perspective. That's my experience. And I hope that it was valuable again. Hey, do me a favor. Other people who are looking for a video like this, it helps, um, help them find it. If you like the video, so please hit that real quick and subscribe for, for other videos that I make about living here in San Antonio. And again, feel free to reach out to me, uh, text, phone, email, book a free Zoom consultation with me if you're thinking about purchasing a home here in San Antonio. I would love to help you out. I help a lot of people out who are relocating here to San Antonio. So um, it'd be my pleasure to help you as well. Until the next video, we will talk to you later.